Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to show you how to create anchor links in Squarespace. But first, there might be a few of you who are wondering what this is. Basically, it's when you create a link at the top of your website that leads down to a different section of your page automatically, like this. It's actually really easy to do, so that's why I decided to create this tutorial. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Louise of solopreneursidekick.com. I put out new videos every single week all about building your online business. So if that is something that you are looking to do, make sure that you hit subscribe down below and that you hit that little bell icon to get notified every time I post something new. All right, so here's how to create anchor links in Squarespace. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is create an index page. So in Squarespace, you're going to click on pages and then click on the plus sign and select index. Next, you're just going to title this page and then you need to start building out the sections. So in order for this to work, you need to have a few different sections. I'm going to click on the plus sign and just select content but you could do content or gallery and I'm going to title this section one and I'll just put in some demo content so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so we have section one. Now I'm gonna click add section, title this section two and choose a different layout. Let's say I wanted to do some details, okay? And save that. And then again, you're going to add a section, click content, and I'm going to title this section three. Okay, so now let's say I wanted to do a contact page. All right, I'm gonna click start editing. All right, so now that we have our three different sections created, now we can get to the anchor links part. So I'm gonna scroll up to the top and what I'm going to do is click edit on this first section here and just insert a text box. All right, so here I'm going to link to section two and to section three because we're, you know, we're already on section one. All right, so just remember that this is where we're going to link them. I'm gonna center that actually. All right, so now what you need to do is you need to go to the section that you want to link to. So this is one that we're dropping down to. You're gonna click on the little gear icon, scroll down and make sure that you know what the URL slug is. So I know that this is section dash two. Great. And then what I need to do is check section three as well which I know will be the same. Okay, so we know our URL slug, click save. So we also need to make note of the URL slug for the index page itself. So click on the gear icon next to that, scroll down and you'll see URL slug. So as you can see, it's title, so that's good. We're gonna click save. And with these URL slugs, you can make them whatever you want. I would just keep it short. And if you do have more than one word, separate them with a dash. Okay, so now to actually create the anchor links, we're going to click edit. And where it says section two, I'm going to highlight this. Click on this little link symbol right here. And then I'm going to put forward slash the URL slug for the page, so that's title, forward slash, and then I'm going to put the hashtag symbol, and then I'm going to put the URL slug for section two, and click add link. Then I'm going to do that again for section three, so I'm going to highlight that, click on the link icon, forward slash, URL slug for the page, which is title, forward slash again, the hashtag symbol, so this is really important, remember to add that, and then the URL slug for that section. So in this case, section three. I'm going to click add link and save, and now I can show you what this looks like. So I'm going to just click this little arrow, top left, so that I can view everything. 
Now you can click section two and it's going to drop down to that section. And if we scroll up and click on section three, it's going to automatically drop down to that section. So that's it for this video. As you can see, it's pretty simple. If you have any questions at all, just leave those for me in the comments below. All right guys, that's it for this video. I hope that you liked it. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe and hit that little bell icon. And if you are building your website with Squarespace, which I mean, you're watching this video, so I'm assuming that you are. If you are, I would love to help you out. You can get a free trial of my online course, Website That Wows. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. This is my easy step-by-step -step program to get you launching your gorgeous professional Squarespace website. That's it for me today, and I'll see you guys soon.